mistakes that we made um, from the back. Uh, Raya, who we think is the new number one goalkeeper for us now, making that mistake. That was a sloppy pass from him and uh, the defence did not recover from that uh, little mistake and uh, it led to the equaliser. Gunners of Africa, Lens 2, Arsenal 1. And I'm here with Kingsley. <laughs> I'm already laughing. <laughs> uh, well, um, it was a very interesting game today. Uh, um, it's a game that Arsenal started very, very well. We scored the first goal, but after then, we now allowed um, Lens to come back to the game due to mistakes that we made um, from the back. Uh, Raya, who we think is the new number one goalkeeper for us now, making that mistake. That was a sloppy pass from him and uh, the defence did not recover from that uh, little mistake and uh, it led to the equaliser. Um, after the first half, I thought maybe I told them one or two things. I think the game plan for Arsenal changed when um, Bukayo Saka got injured. You know, he has been like our lifesaver. Even when he's not playing well, he always has um, a way of adding something to the team. If he's not playing well, maybe he's giving an assist or he's scoring a goal. So when he left um, the pitch, um, I think I had to bring Fabio Vieira and uh, we know they are not similar kind of, in fact, they are different kind of players. So it was very difficult to continue with that rhythm and uh, even in the second half, it still continued before Len scored the second goal. And but, but were you expecting that sub, Fabio Vieira, for Saka? Well, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting the sub. I thought maybe he would bring in uh, Rhys Nelson because that's the only like-for-like -like, um, replacement I know in the Arsenal team. Somebody that can do Maybe a little bit of what um, Bukaya Saka can do in the Arsenal team. So I expected him to bring in Bukaya Saka, but he did not do that. He he went along and brought in um, Fabio Vieira. For me, I don't know whether it was a very good change, but he's the manager. He knew what was up, and uh, because the length side was very very physical, he needed people that can mark, that can be able to hold the ball, that can be able to shoot the ball. But he didn't really do that. He brought in Fabio Vieira, who I think is a lightweight uh, of a player. He's not really that bulky and and do, looking at the physicality that the Lens side brought in the game, I, I think it was the wrong option to bring in at that moment. And we actually struggle against physical teams. Like we, we've seen it in the Premier League. Mm. And today we've actually seen it in the Champions League. And this game today has actually showed us that in the Champions League, there is no small team. Yes, um, uh, today's game has kind of um, made the group very open. Uh, like uh, Lens, who I don't think nobody even expected them to be on top uh, on match day two. But today they're on top uh, of the table. We still have Sevilla. Sevilla is a very good side also. They know this competition very, very well. Even though people might say, okay, they like the Europa League more than even the, even the uh, UEFA Champions League. But we know them. They're a very formidable side in this uh, competition. So we just have to find a way to get past this result. I think it's a very bad result today in France. Uh, they should look forward to the next game. The next game will be against uh, Sevilla. I don't know whether it's going to be at the Emirates or in Sevilla, but anyway, it's going to be, um, it's a game. Arsenal should not lose because if they don't get anything from that game, it's going to be very difficult for them. I know they already have three points in the group, so there's still chance to qualify for the group. But today was a very, very bad day and um, they need to just come back in the next game. The game against Man City on Sunday. What do you expect? Actually, we'll be, we'll be praying mm. for Boko Saga to yeah, be available we'll, we'll be for, here, for that game, actually. Um, it's going to be a very tough game. We we know the record against Manchester City has not really been good down the years. In fact, since Pep Guardiola came, I, I don't think we have even defeated them in the Premier League. I don't think so. So it's a game they need to find a way to maybe get a good result. I, I'm not saying a win. A win might be asking for too much. Um, they should maybe find a way to at least get a draw. A draw will be like a boost for them because we saw what happened last season. We lost home and away. So this time around, I think... The momentum was on us, but now that Bukayo Saka has gotten, gotten injured, I don't know how it's going to be, whether we'll be able to have that firepower because for me, he's one of our very important players. But we see the Man City team, they have also injury crisis. Um, the likes of uh, Rodri is suspended for that game. So they still have other players that, that are not fit for the game. So we don't know. Bukayo Saka has shown that when he leaves off in a game, he has a way of coming back for the next game. So let's see whether he will recover. We still have like three days before that game against Manchester City. So let's see whether they can be able to um, make him fit. I don't know the physios and the doctors, whether they can be able to uh, make him fit. But it's going to be a very difficult game at the Emirates. So we hope for them to win. I think maybe this defeat will be like a motivation for them to see whether they can win their next game.
the lens equalizer. Mm. You know, they pass from Raya to Tomiyashu. Mm. See, um, <laughs> this has been like a recurring stuff for Arsenal. Even Ramsdale, even Raya. Today we saw a mistake from Raya. It has been happening. If, if it's not uh, Ramsdale last season, it was uh, the back line. Now, today is uh, Raya, who we think or who we thought would be the new Messiah, our new number one. Uh, so he has started, maybe he has known that he will be the new number one. He has started misbehaving, yes. Uh, so we don't need that. Uh, I, I thought I already come out to say that nobody is his number one. So if you're not doing well, he will drop you for another option. So for me, um, he, he needs to sit up. There was no need giving that pass. I saw, I saw the pass leading to the goal. He could have just uh, passed to the nearest man or even send the ball up uh, into the field, but um, he just wanted to do something stylish. I don't know why I would call it stylish.